Today let's study the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Fundamental theorem of arithmetic states that every composite number can be expressed or you can say factorized as a product of prime numbers and this factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factors occur. Before we proceed any further, let me just remind you of what is a composite number and what is a prime number. A composite number is a positive integer greater than 1 that has at least one factor other than 1 and itself. For example, let's look at this number 4. Now 4, besides the two factors that is 1 and itself, that is 4, also has another factor which is 2. So 4 is a composite number. Similarly, you have 6, 8, 10, 12, so on and so forth. All these are composite numbers. Similarly, prime number is any positive integer greater than 1 which has no factor other than 1 and itself. For example, let's look at say number 3. Now 3 has only two factors that is 1 and itself that is 3. So 3 is a prime number. Similarly, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, so on and so forth. All these are prime numbers. Let me just scroll it down. Okay. Let's look at one example. Let's take this positive integer 900. Now let's uh, express 900 as, as a product of prime factors. Now 900, if we divide it by 2, we get 450. We factorize it further, we get 225. We factorize it further, we divide it by 3, so we get 75. So we divide 75 by 3 again, we get 3 multiplied by 2, 6, and here we get 25. So factorizing 25 further, we get 5 here and till we get 1 here. So 900 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5. So this is what fundamental theorem of arithmetic is. So this positive integer has been expressed as product of prime numbers. Now this factorization will be unique except the order in which they occur. So uh, the order can be changed. So this can be written as 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 or it can be written into 2 into 2 or we can also write it as equal to 5 into 5 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. So we can change the order. However, you will see this factorization is unique. So while factorizing 900, you will always have two twos, two threes, and two fives. So this is what fundamental theorem of arithmetic is. Now let's use this prime factorization method to find LCM and HCF of two numbers. Let me just further scroll it down. Okay, let me 
change the color here okay so let's let's use the prime factorization method to find the HCF of two numbers say for example let's take 6 and 20 now factorizing 6 into prime factors we get 6 equal to 2 into 3 2 raised to the power 1 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 1 similarly 20 can be factorized as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 or this can be written as 2 raised to the power 2 multiplied by 5 raised to the power 1 now HCF of 6 and 20 we can write it as HCF of 6 and 20 will be the highest common factor which divides both 6 and 20 which in this case you will realize will be the product product of smallest power of each common prime factor of 6 and 20 which you will see the, the common factor here is 2 and the smallest power of 2 here is 2 raised to the power 1 which is equal to 2 so HCF of 6 and 20 let me just write it again so HCF of 6 and 20 is equal to 2 raised to the power 1 Now to find LCM that is the lowest common multiple of 6 and 20 by prime factorization method. Now LCM of 6 and 20 is the smallest positive integer that is divisible by both 6 and 20. So which you will realize in this case is the product of greatest power of each prime factor of 6 and 20. So it's a product of greatest power of each prime factor of 6 and 20. So if you look at it, let me just uh, scroll up a bit. So if you look at it, so we have uh, three prime factors here, 2, 3 and 5. So we need to take the highest power, that is the greatest power of each prime factor. So the greatest power of 2 here is 2 raised to the power 2 and the greatest power of 3 is 3 raised to the power 1 and the greatest power of 5 is 5 raised to the power 1. So which gives this equal to 60. So this is the LCM of 6 and 20. So LCM of 6 and 20 is equal to 2 raised to the power 2 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 1 multiplied by 5 raised to the power 1. Let me call this as equation 2 and let me 
call this as equation 1. Now multiplying equation 1 with equation 2. So if you multiplied equation 1 with 2, you will see HCF of 620 multiplied by LCM of 620. Here uh, we have 2 raised to the power 1 multiplied, if you multiply with equation 2, right hand side of equation 2 is this. So which is 2 raised to the power 2 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 1 multiplied by 5 raised to the power 1. Okay. Okay. Now this can be written as so if you multiply 2 now we, we will try to express uh, these these prime factors uh, in terms of 6 and 20 so 2 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 1 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 1 gives you 6 multiplied so 2 raised to the power 2 is 4 multiplied by 5 raised to the power 1 is 5 so that is 4 multiplied by 5 gives you 20 so HCF of 6 and 20 multiplied by LCM of 6 and 20 gives you the multiplication of these two numbers that is 6 and 20. We can use this expression to find LCM of two positive integers if we already have found HCF for these two numbers. Also you need to note that this statement is true only for two positive integers and this statement is not true for three positive integers. Let's look at this example. Find HCF of 96 and 404 by prime prime factorization method hence find their LCM let's look at the solution by prime factorization of 96 and 404 so 96 can be factorized as so if we can write 2 48 so we divide 48 further by 2 we get 24 this we divide further we get 12 so it's okay so we get 96 is equal to 2 raised to the power 5 into 3. Similarly, 404 can be factorized as 404 if we divide it by 2, 202. Now, 101 is a prime number, so it cannot be factorized any further. So, 404 can be written as 2 raised to by 2 into 101. Now, HCF of 96 and 404 first we need to find the a common factor here so the common factor here is 2 and the smallest or the lowest power of 2 here is 2 raised to the power 2 so this is the HCF of 96 uh, and 404 so this can be written as 
equal to 4. Now, we just proved a few minutes back that HCF of 96 and 404 multiplied by LCM of 96 and 404 is equal to the product of these two numbers. So LCM of 96 and 404 will be equal to 96 multiplied by 404 divided by HCF of 96 and 404 which is equal to 96 multiplied by 404 divided by 4 which is equal to 96 multiplied by 101 which is equal to 9696 so this is the LCM that we were supposed to find